Brave Turn is an offshore support vessel, but when we visited, we found it moored in the harbor. Yeah, nice and dry. After several days of waiting, Lee Kello was fed up. He wanted to get working. That's why he went into the offshore industry. I'd done maybe 16 years operating cranes and then I got bored of sitting in one place too long and, and just fancied a change, so I come into lifting supervisor and a lot of rigging work and stuff like that. But the weather wasn't playing ball. It was too windy. We've been waiting now for, uh, must be four days, three, four days in total. Just about three, four days. We yeah. arrived at this harbour yesterday, but uh, we were arriving at the last harbour, waiting there for two or three days as well. So, But uh, the weather doesn't look good for the next few days, so we're just trying to keep ourselves occupied. Their first job was to load this huge rotor on board. With blades spanning over 100 meters, it's extremely vulnerable to the wind. So in the end, the loading had to be delayed yet again. We'll take the, the machine down both, both sides of each blade, and uh, we'll come down the sides of the blade just inspecting for damage, any big scratches, any paint damage uh, that could have been done during installation. Yeah. So we'll just take an extra care this time. The Brave Turn is a jack-up installation vessel purpose-built to install wind turbines at sea. Every day, the ship and its crew cost 150,000 euros, even when they're sitting idle. For a year now, Pyotr Pekutovsky's workplace has been on the Brave Turns Bridge. He's the ship's second in command. Uh, second in the mate uh, is the position, uh, the person who is responsible for all navigation equipment or radio equipment. And he has to keep an eye on the wind speed. Until Monday, uh, no chance. The, the weather limit is above the limit. Uh, we have got the limit six and uh, eight meters per second for both rotors. So uh, unfortunately, we have to wait for the better weather. The offshore wind power business requires a boatload of patience. While the ship's crew tends to some maintenance, the constructors take a mandatory break. They remain on full pay even when they're not working. But just sitting around can tire you out too. All you can do is think about your family back home and your girlfriend and all your friends going out and socialising and stuff and, and you're sat here doing nothing. So. Finally, the weather took a turn for the better. The wind had died down and there was no time to waste. Lee Kello and his installation crew had the task of maneuvering two complete wind turbines onto the ship and securing them. Loading just one component took two hours. Six in the evening, another team came to relieve the men for the night shift. It's a round-the-clock operation. A full 20 hours later, Kello finally had the last part loaded on board. The group of men from Britain, Ireland, Denmark, and Germany have been working together since last December. Waiting's finished. Um, the guys are going now to ready to lift the gangway. Um, they land the gangway back on the quayside. The dockers will release it for us, and then we'll start floating. On the bridge, too, everyone was highly focused. Pyakutovsky was now in official uniform. The captain and the pilot steered the ship out of the port. 170 meters long, 100 meters wide, 660 deep, 61 people on board into the raging North Sea. Pyakutovsky has studied navigation. He wants to become a captain himself. All is dependent from uh, from the, from the captain especially because he's like, uh, you know, the main person who can say that you are ready for the next promotion or not. And from, from yourself, if you feel that you have enough experience and you feel that can, you can uh, go higher, then that's the best time. 
After a week in the harbor, the brave turn was finally out on the open sea, traveling at 11 knots. Its destination was 180 kilometers away. It was the middle of the night before they drew close to their goal. One hour notice to the construction field, and if you'd like to proceed to location 05. For the job at the wind farm was about to begin. We'll have more in the next episode.